Hey everybody, Daniel from Space Dog here. Before we start this video off, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Gabriel, the science advisor for the Sojourn, who wrote half the script for this video for us while I was working on Force Recon. Thanks Gabriel, you're awesome. I hope everybody enjoys this video. The Normandy-class Deep Scout Stealth Frigate was the result of a historic collaborative effort between designers and engineers from the Human Systems Alliance and Turian Hierarchy with the support of the Citadel Council. Being an almost perfect reflection of the Systems Alliance military doctrine, the vessel is designed to serve as a solo reconnaissance craft for covert operations and is equipped with a revolutionary internal emission sink system that shields the vessel from thermal detection during flight. At a length of 155 meters, the Normandy class displays many elements of the classic Alliance design style, featuring attitude control thrusters affixed to large mantis-like pylons to the port and starboard of the ship's central body. The vessel's main drive units are articulated and capable of impressive sublight acceleration. These main engines are supported by high-power hydrogen-oxygen RCS attitude control thrusters to create a fast and nimble vessel that can easily navigate through complex maneuvers both in and out of atmosphere. As per common practice among Alliance frigates, the Normandy class is designed for close-range knife fight combat, sporting as its armament a loadout of Guardian point defense lasers, a spinal mass accelerator cannon, and a pair of Javelin disruptor torpedo tubes. The frigate is equipped with layers of ablative armor designed to boil away when struck by directed energy weapons. While this plating provides some measure of protection against energy-based weaponry, the task of negating direct impacts from solid objects and ballistic projectiles falls to the vessel's kinetic barriers, which are able to endure a small amount of damage should a hostile ship overcome the frigate's evasive agility. Easily the most significant feature of the Normandy-class design was the ship's sophisticated IES stealth system. The IES is able to store the ship's excess heat inside internal lithium heat sinks that, combined with active hull refrigeration, entirely prevent thermal detection of the ship for periods of up to three hours when actively cruising and possibly for days when passively drifting. The advantages this system offers for military reconnaissance and intelligence gathering assignments are clear and extensive, providing the system's alliance with a means of quickly and quietly deploying ground teams for asset recovery or monitoring fleet activity from a position of concealment. Complementing the internal emission sink was the novel Tantalus Drive, an oversized Mass Effect core proportionally twice the size of an average ship's. By creating artificial mass concentrations outside the ship that the vessel could then fall into, translational movement could be achieved without producing any visible exhaust plume that could otherwise give away the vessel's position, further increasing the ship's already impressive stealth capabilities. The Normandy-class frigate's interior is divided into three decks, the first of which contains the primary combat information center, helm and gunnery stations, main airlock, and communications lounge. Deck 2 plays host to the CO's cabin and the vessel's med lab, as well as a small mess area and the crew's sleeper pods. Finally, the Normandy's lower deck includes an armory and cargo bay containing the vessel's embarked M35 Mako infantry fighting vehicle, as well as the ship's main engineering section and Tantalus drive. Core. The main CIC of the Normandy class places the commanding officer in a dominant position overlooking the surrounding bridge officers. This configuration was inspired by existing Turian designs and does not match conventional alliance doctrine, which normally places the commander in a more central position. Easily the most famous example of the Normandy class was the prototype SSV Normandy SR-1, originally commanded by Captain David Anderson and later by the first human spectre, Commander Shepard. The vessel was the first to respond to the Geth heretic attack on Eden Prime and was later pivotal in pursuing the rogue spectre Saren and defending the Citadel from the Reaper known as Sovereign. The Normandy SR-1 was later ambushed by a collector cruiser while investigating Geth activity in the frontier and suffered mortal damage which forced the crew to abandon ship. Despite the loss of the SR-1, the Alliance continued to construct Normandy-class vessels, and the design inspired the advanced SR-2 Normandy, constructed by the paramilitary organization known as Cerberus. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.